morning, my friend. Glory be to God. Jesus Christ is alive. You know, that's the thing with God and Jesus and the, and the whole purpose and the reason for the resurrection. It was when God rose Jesus Christ back to life. God was making a, a public statement. He was making a declaration. He, he was saying that every word Jesus Christ said was the truth. Was the truth. You know, that's the thing is, is Christians, and, and I live in the United States of America, and, and, and as what we hear and what we're being taught in, in our world, I would just like to remind you of the fact that uh, when, when Jesus rose back to life, he, the judgment had been made. The rulers of this world have been judged. Right? And that's the thing that we come to find out, you know. David, in the Psalms, we, we could go through Psalm 65 all the way through Psalm 69. And right there, is, he's describing Jesus Christ. And not just Jesus Christ, but Jesus Christ hanging on a cross, looking at the men gambling over his clothes. And any one of them could have not gambled over those clothes. Right? Right? You know, that's the thing is, what we see in the world and what we forget is Barabbas, son of father, went free. Went free. Right? You know, how, how happy was he on that day? <laughs> he was hours away from being executed for murder. And he walked free. He walked free. You know, that's the thing we got to come to realize in our lives. Jesus Christ is the one and only Son of God. And it is by our faith in Him, we have the right to be God's Son. Yet, we, we say, yeah, Jesus forgave me of my sins. But, but did you not know that a student, when fully trained, Right? A, a student, when fully trained by his teacher, it's just like his teacher. Right? So, so when a, a, a student of Satan is fully trained, this is what they do. They hide like a roaring lion in the bushes, waiting for those whom they can devour. And they devour their person through slander. That, that's their goal, to devour another person's character through slander. And the children of Satan, when fully trained, do exactly what their master taught them. A blind man cannot lead a blind man. Both will fall off the cliff. So if the master, and you know his destiny, is destruction. And yet, you fully trained. Following the training of your master, the slandering of other people's character, right? This is, the, this is when Jesus rose back to life. And he said, all of my students will be just like their teacher. And, and they have been taught by God. Jesus says, if you can hear then hear these words. Love your enemy. Pray for those who are persecuting you. Do not curse, but bless those who are cursing you. Consider it all joy when somebody comes to you because of the Son of Man, because you have the ability and the audacity to say, I am God's Son. I don't know what a Christian is, but I, I do know what the Son's of God are. Those who obey God's word have the right to be God's sons. This is not being born by flesh, but by the Spirit. For the flesh is sin, and the flesh is evil, and its desire is to sin and do evil. So unless we're willing to die to our flesh, you have no place with the heaven and kingdom of God. No place. There's no murderers in heaven. 
There are no slanderers in heaven. There are no whoremongers in heaven. There are no rapists in heaven. They don't, be, they're not there. It doesn't exist. And I thank God that, that that's the promise. That there is a kingdom and a place where those things do not exist. Well, Satan crouches like a roaring lion, hiding in the bushes, seeking those whom he may devour. For he kills, steals, and destroys. And he will kill, steal, and destroy your character to give him a foothold. Your dignity. You know, the Bible is clear. Woe to you who are rich now. Woe to the United States of America, for you are grown fat and rich now, and yet you will be hungry. Woe to you who are full now, for you will start. Woe to you who are laughing now, you will weep and mourn. When the great flood comes, that's the thing I come to warn you. That's what I've seen as, as a, someone, a dam or something, holding back many waters. Release that water. And when the water came and rose and it smashed and crushed everything in its path, I can see and feel the great weeping for those who have been destroyed. Survivors. Because everything they loved and cherished was taken away from them and it was like a disaster greater than no other. And it left them in a place of despair. And it's coming. The rain is coming. You must see. Those who have built their foundation on the rock, when that rain and that storm comes, they will not be swept. They will not lose their peace. They will not weep and mourn bitterly over the dead, but will rejoice over God's word. Woe to you who weep over dead, for your unfaithfulness has been noted. Let me tell you and explain to you. If you love those who only love you, what good are you? You're no different than a sinner, because even the sinners love sinners. If you can only lend to those who are going to lend back to you, what good are you? Because even the sinners lend to the sinners, expecting the same amount in return. When somebody comes to you with evil, to slap you on the face, you... Offer the other cheek. You do not resist evil. For you love your enemies. God is grateful or merciful to the ungrateful. And the evil too. For their reward has been received in full. Woe to you who are rich now. You have received your reward. But blessed are the poor. They will see the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are, are those who are being rejected and, and reviled for God's name. Right? For, for as the false prophets and the people and the fathers of those who murdered the prophets, their children do the same. And they glorify the false prophets just as their fathers did. Woe to America because you have built this country on the backs of slavery and murder. And murder. American motto should be squash your neighbor. We all love a great game of squash and it's all about squash your neighbor. Yet Jesus says, love your neighbor in the same way you wish to be loved. Not in the same way they treated you, but in the same way you wish to be loved. If they steal your shirt, you give them your cloak as well. If they come and rob your house of every good you've got, then let it go and do not condemn them. But let them have it. For your reward is of heaven and you're not of this world. 
May this world sicken you. May you despise this world. I pray God would, would make you hate this world. For everybody who loves this world hates God. And if they're speaking all kinds of great things about you, then you must wonder, are you just like them? Are you the enemy to God? Jesus says, those who have been fully trained by their teacher will be just like their teacher. Therefore, you are to love your enemies. Nowhere in the Bible does it say conquer or destroy your enemies. Aren't your enemies? The ones who are out there conquering and destroying and sitting in secret places waiting for you to make a mistake so they can slander your good character. That's what Satan does. And that's what the American Christian does as well. You are to, to give to everyone who begs of you. And you are to give it freely. Expecting nothing in return. Nothing in return. You are to be set apart as holy to God. Not like them. But like Jesus. Right? Jesus says. If you lend to those and expect something back. What good are you? Even the sinners do that. But you are to, to give, expecting nothing in return. Nothing in return. And then you, if you follow these rules, will be called the sons of the Most High. If you cannot follow these rules, then you are sons of that whom you taught you. Not God, but Satan. For the works of Satan are manifested through the activities of our deeds. Sin cannot exist unless you swing the sword. It is Satan's will, it is the Antichrist's will, to, to take his seat in God's throne within God's temple. You are the temple of God. His goal is to proclaim himself to be God in God's temple. Yet he is a lawless being bringing false signs and false wonders, false promises, all in the attempts to lead you astray. So when that storm comes and sweeps everything away from you, you are left destroyed. The evidence that you are not walking with Jesus Christ is your willingness to slander other people. Your willingness to, to use malicious behavior for other people. Jesus says, a good tree cannot produce bad. It can't do it. And a bad tree cannot produce good. And thereby by its fruit you will be known. Those who slander are slandering because they have been fully trained by Satan. Those of you who are abusing others are abusing others because you have been fully trained by Satan. And you are now doing the activities and the works of Satan. So when God rose Jesus Christ back to life, and he says the ruler of this world has been judged and condemned, Never able to enter God's presence. If you have not been baptized in the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ by fire, then maybe you have a problem today. Because even John said, He who is greater than I baptizes you in his own name, in the name of Jesus Christ, and with fire. If you haven't been baptized in that way, 
control. <laughs> this is the truth. The gift God gave to those who believe, who have been found worthy of his kingdom, have received the Holy Spirit. And that's the gift. And the Holy Spirit convicts the world of sin and gets you to conform to the likeness of Jesus Christ. Evil is produced from one place, the heart of an evil man. Good is produced from one place, the heart of, of a good man. Those who are doing good, do good because they have a heart for God. And they expect nothing in return. They have the ability to love their enemy, so they were loving themselves. Jesus came to, to make a statement and a declarement. Love as I have loved you. As I have loved you. Barabbas, son of murder, son of liar, set free. Why? Could none of the people stop what was going on? How come the people gambling over his garments under his feet couldn't stop what they were doing? Any one of them, by their own actions, could have prevented the death of Jesus Christ, right? Pilate said, why do you condemn this man? I, I have the power. To let him free. Well, how come you couldn't let him free? Right? Because it was God's will to save all men. Because God is more powerful than men. Because God had the will to overcome this world and to give you the faith of Jesus Christ, which had overcome this world while being up to his neck in the mire and mire. God wishes you to find salvation in him and him alone. And this is the sanctification of your soul, your willingness to obey Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ says, if you really loved me, you wouldn't sing out at church with all your heart, mind, and soul. No, you would obey me. And you'd go out and you'd love your enemy as though you were loving yourself. And then you will have the kingdom of heaven as your reward. And those who believe it receive the Holy Spirit, the empowerment to do it. To do it. It's disgusting to see many hours and hours of sermons and sermons of people teaching you how to become rich. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your reward in full. Rather, sell everything you got and give it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. If you can't sell it, if you can't give it away, it owns you. It owns you. An inanimate object which cannot speak, talk, or care for you owns you. An evil man cannot produce God. They can claim to know Jesus Christ, but, but the reality of their actions is they sit in darkness and wait for you to make a mistake so they can jump out and devour you. And that's what they do. Satan quoted scripture to Jesus. So it's not about quoting scriptures or speaking scriptures. It's about the obedience to God's word. If you love me, then obey my commandments in the same way I obeyed my Father's commandments. 
obey. How can you escape the fire of hell? If you're unwilling to love your enemies yourself, if you can't love me who is for you, how are you going to love Jesus Christ when he's standing in your face? If you're willing to spit in the sons of God now, what will you do when you spit in God's face? For those who have been fully trained by their teacher, will be exactly like their teacher. It says, why do you call me Lord, Lord, not obey me? Everyone who comes to me and hears my words and does them, I will show you what he is like and does them. Like a man who built a house and dug deep down to the rock and planted the foundation from the rock up. So when the storm came, when the rains fell, and the wind rose and, and blew that house down, there was no effect. For he took the time to build it on the rock. But those who do not practice, who do not walk in the way of Jesus Christ, when that storm comes and everything's taken away, you will definitely know that you have never felt a greater loss than that. Right? But the one who hears and does not do them it's like a man who built a house on the ground, in the sand, without a foundation. And when God rose Jesus to life, he said every word Jesus spoke was the truth. It was the truth. For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him, believes in his words and then puts his words to practice, shall have eternal life. But those who live in darkness, who cannot love the man or the brother or sister standing right in front of them, you stay in darkness. You hide in darkness. Hide under fake names and fake images and fake profiles and, and create for yourself your own image, your own avatar. Because you're afraid of the light. Because you know in your heart of hearts what you're doing is evil. Only thieves and criminals have reason to hide. Moses, after murdering a man, decided to bury him in the sand, and he swore, I'm the only one who knows that there's a dead man buried in the sand. And the next day they said, what, are you going to kill us, Moses, like you did that guy? And he was in shock that everybody knew. That everybody knew. Moses tries to flee and run to the desert where nobody can find him, and God found him. And even God knew. No man can hide from God, for God knows the secrets of the hearts and minds of all people. Even your heart and your mind. And people who are afraid and ashamed to say, I am David, or I am Jan, or I am Stephanie, or I am whoever, and say, I am proud to be. God's son, God's child. And, and the evidence I am proud to, to be a student of my teacher is my willingness to obey his commands. Willingness to give away whatever I have to anyone who asks whether they're ungrateful or evil. 
willingness to do it. See, we can prophesy, we can speak the word of God, we, we can give everything we have to the poor, but if we don't have charity, if we don't have love, the willingness to give without receiving back, you're nothing. Hell, you can walk through the fire of hell, but if you have no love, you have nothing. There are no slanderers, backbiters, adulterous, nastiest, whoremonger old people in heaven. None. And Jesus says this. In the same way he told the disciples at the resurrection. See! If you forgive any one of their sins, your sins will be forgiven you. If you loosen anything here on earth, it will be loosened there in heaven. Forgive your brother from your heart or God will not forgive you. Love your enemy so you are loving yourself or God will not forgive you. For I fear for the man who says he has no sin. No sin. Right. Right. I thank God that nowhere in the Bible does it say those who use the F word are not in heaven. Thank God for that because I use it all the time. But it's not. It's good. You know why I'm good? Because I have not only the ability to forgive my brother from his heart, I have the ability to forgive myself from my heart. Right? If you do not judge, you will not be judged. But if you judge, expect judgment. If you go out and condemn, expect to be condemned. Expect this. Expect this as though it was the finest of all gold. This here words right here. The measure you use to judge another will be used against you. The measure you use will be used against you. See you next time. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. For the Father up above is looking down in love.